Sir, it's a trombone market. Nah, I don't think anybody calls it that. I just saw a sweet trombone player last night who made me cry with her trombone tones. It's always good to step away from the computer when the market takes a dump on your plans. But was there any indication that this would happen? Opinions got you in the broader crypto update. This week's broader crypto update has global markets fearing a recession due to the SAM indicator flashing. It's usually a good indicator based on jobless claims that forecasts a spike in future unemployment. But SAM herself states it may not be relevant this time due to changes from pandemic interventions that said it's mostly never wrong. But if it helps, even in recessions, as unemployment spikes, markets and recessions correct at different rates, some super short, and the indicator actually often marks the local lows. Other factors shaking markets are the Japanese yen rebounding heavily against USD, largely due to carry trades leading to massive liquidations. If you don't get it, basically, tons of people shorted the falling yen, thinking free money, and like all leverage, the bounce liquidated and caused some real hurt, with maybe more to come. What does this mean for crypto? Some argue we're right on track. Back to you, Jay. Of course, major corrections happen every few years in the global markets. And during crypto bulls, 20 to 40% corrections are par for the course. And we're 30% from market highs right now, unless you're all in on wood. But with a rebound at least likely, the dot down needs to focus on governing the network for the future. As the referendum for the removal of Michiko Watanabe is going virtually unchallenged, Limo seems to have found his calling and exposed another questionable behavior. This time from a DV using its newfound power to influence a proposal highlighting a potential conflict of interest. By the way, if you're interested in tracking how approved proposals are measuring up to their promises, make sure to check out OG Tracker's monthly report for a quick overview. Also, following in Sean's footstep, the folks at PlayProject.io are requesting 200 USDT for their write-up on how to more carefully assess ahead ambassador's capability. In other news, and to gauge the community's interest in marketing, let's revisit All in Crypto's request which was sent back to the 50% mark after 12PT to Mori laid down almost 17 million votes on the nay side. And finally, currently passed with over 90% I are two dev proposals, one for the enhancement of core time dev tools designed to assist developers in building with the Polkadot SDK slash substrate, and the other for the development of a plug and play solution for a decentralized perpetual futures exchange. Back to you, Jay. Thank you, Indico. So how's the Coos, a treasury funded media asset, dealing with this dump? Here's our weekly treasury transparency report. Wow, the market never ceases to amaze, does it? Times like these can test your patience and conviction, but if you have a decent plan and good risk management, you can make it through. That's what we're trying to do here at the Kusumarian. Just stay the course. We continue to validate, participate in, and secure the network. And you can support us by staking Dotter KSM with Bifrost, Talisman, Subwallet, or the Kus.xyz. Treasury allocations at the time of recording are about 35% DOT, 19% Stables, 19% IBTC, 16% ETH, and 8% VDOT, with the remainder being mostly sub. Back to you, Jay. Thanks, Blink. We'll see you in a few minutes for attempts at governance live on X and YouTube. And then again tomorrow, we'll get there. Have a great day, everybody.